Hi guys, in this little demo I want to show you how to use my new uh, plugin to uh, integrate AI features into Vim and how to use this in practice. So for this I want to create a new little project for NCC, but any programming language would work. I just use C for this demo. And in this demo, I want to create a very simple application and use AI to help me implementing command line parsing. So let's start. Um, I'm creating a demo folder for the project and I also make it a Git repo. And now I create the main C file. So to start over, I'm normally using uh, snippets here. Uh, to create the main application and I even have um, a get opt snippet. So this, you see already a prompt in ghost text that the AI would create this kind of application for me, which is a cute application, makes no sense for me now because I want to program in C. So let's start with my get opt snippet. And yeah, this is how it looks like a very basic uh, command line parsing code using a snippet, but this is something that we need to change now. So um, first of all, I delete the code in switch statement. Then let's change the command line options. Um, I want H for help, V for version, and I want to have a model argument and a UL argument. So we need some variables for this. Const character string model is null. And I do the same for URL. And if the AI is smart, it is already able to create the switch statements, the cases for me. Let's see if it works. Yeah. I accept this, so it not only has proposed a switch statement for parsing model and URL, it has created a check if uh, additional arguments were passed. It checks if all required arguments are specified and then it outputs the model argument. So actually this is, this is exactly what I wanted to do, that's nice. Uh, the other stuff here I don't need, I delete this. You can see a lot of red words here because includes are still missing. So I go to the top and start typing an include. And I accept this proposal as well. So it has figured out what includes I need. That's very nice. And here we have still a warning, uh, a const cast problem. So I just delete this here. The warning is gone. And what you can see also is that the help and version is still missing. For this, I want to create some helper functions. Uh, void usage cons character prop name. And yeah, let's create this function. And it was even smart enough to create a version function as well for us, that's nice but I want to have the same signature here for output also the, the program name. Okay, and now let's change the printf. And yes, it has figured out how to print the program name and the version. Uh, if you take a look at the usage, it has really created the, all the options with the correct description. Oh, that's very nice. And I want to exit here. That's normally in the usage should exit with a failure. That's right. And uh, help I don't need. And the version exit success. That's nice. So we need to add this to the switch statement. Bam. So that looks good. The break keyword here is missing, probably because we have an exit statement here. But anyway, I prefer to have a break here as well. And yeah, I think the program is pretty much finished. So 
we need to compile it now. Therefore, I create a CMake project. Call it demo. So this again was just a snippet expansion and now I want to add also an install target. Yeah, and the AI is able to complete this as well. That's nice. So I hit F7, uh, it's configured to compile CMake project. And it compiles successfully even without warning. We only have a CMake warning that the required version is too old. Let's change this. and compile again and it has worked so if i exit vim and inspect our project here we can see the project cmake project and the main file and i have here the i've configured vim to create cmake um to use the CMake generator to create a, a code blocks project because I use this in Vim to pass all the project information. And the compile commands JSON is helpful to make the Clang integration working perfectly in Vim using the COC plugin and the Clang integration, but that's a different topic. I normally need to create here a sim link to those compile commands to uh, have COC pick this up in the top level directory of my project. So what I would normally do here is add the main file and add the CMake project and commit this. And if I open this again and I use my CMake target list command, I can select all the targets of the CMake project, which is just our demo application at the moment, and then I can run it. And you can see it has exit with error and it has printed this usage because we didn't specify any command line arguments yet. So if we take a look, we have this check here and model and URL arguments are mandatory. So let's change this here arguments for my execution and debug options is dash m test and dash u and some ul and execute it again and it has succeeded and printed the pass command line arguments so it worked as it should so that's all for now but i will add some additional videos to show you even more features that you can use in Vim using AI. So stay tuned.